Why me? You got it. Wow, that bad? Do I look like a dope to you? Oh, that's a trick question. Uh, uh, Reva asked me if she could borrow Cross Creek for the weekend. I went, sure, you know, thinking she's gone. Josh is going to be yeah, here. Yeah, I can do the math. Well, guess where Josh is? Oh, the frickin' home Where the wind comes whipping down the plane. You're not going to sing, are you? You know, you and Josh, 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 I Reva, know, Josh. I know, I know. There's a lesson in this for me somewhere. I've been going about this the wrong way. You know, this being with a man thing. I, I need to be more pragmatic, more detached, more like we were on Valentine's Day at the end. We were pragmatic and detached? I'm just saying that we wanted something. We went for it. We didn't stop to think about the emotional aftershock. <laughs> this is how I have to approach romance from now on. Uh, just sort of like to hell with romance. Well, I mean, look, you don't get invested. You don't get hurt, right? That's the way I'm going to deal with it. Oh, he's sort of fast and loose. Well, you know, it works for you, but I don't think it's going to work for Frank, you know. I think, I think you should leave Frank out of this sort of retooled approach. I think you should leave Frank alone, period. You're saying that I shouldn't date Frank? That's exactly what I'm saying. I don't, Frank's not interested in dating. He wants to be close to someone. Maybe I am that someone. Oh, I don't think so. Wait, hold on. I don't know where this thing is going to lead with Frank. We both know where you want to go. You want to go to casual sex land. Oh, when was the last time you had a glass of wine thrown in your face? Uh, detachment is what you want? Wonderful. You can't have it both ways. I don't believe this. This is great. I have a terrible day. I come in here to commiserate with probably one of the only real friends I have in this town. I am not down just your throat. friend. I, I, I am his father. Oh, I see. So you're just looking out for Sunny Boy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know what? Everybody has to live their own life. Us. Nobody has to do it without help. I mean, it's one thing for the two of us, you know, to, to have uh, had a moment it at the end. It was a end. nice moment. It was, yes, it was. Only with Frank, you know, uh, a sort of uh, hit and run hookup isn't uh, isn't what he's talking about when he's talking about dating. You know, you just respect that. I think Frank can make his own choices. I don't think he can when it comes to you. What is this about? Is this about Frank or is this about It's you? about Frank! And at the risk of losing a friend, I'm not going to let you hurt him. Hey, Pop. Mm. That's, uh... That's enough. Libby, excuse me. Can I borrow him for a He's second, all please? all yours. Thank you. What are you doing? Frank, calm down. Calm down. You're out of line here. Look, she, you know, forget about Olivia. I mean, she's not interested in, in getting close to anyone. Frank, come on. Oh, she's had a tough time of it, okay? If she wants to go slow, I'm fine with that. Slow isn't her problem, Frank. Listen, are you listening to me? I don't want you to put your heart out there and get it stomped on, okay? I just want to help you, man. Trying to help me? Not yeah. by getting in between. Let me tell you something. My instincts could be completely wrong about Olivia. And if I'm making a mistake here, let me make the mistake. I don't want to end up alone, Dad. With nothing but my work and no one to go home to? You mean you don't want to end up like me? Pop, you have a great life. I, I didn't mean that the way it came no. out. No. All right, maybe a little. I'm glad we got that cleared up, Frank. You know, in some ways, we're like two alike here, Pop. You know, all we do is we work and we worry about family. Well, it keeps things simple. Yeah, but is that enough? I have nothing to complain about. I did, seriously. Do you have anything in your life that makes you feel like you're the luckiest guy in the world? Not at the moment. All right, see? This is what I'm talking about. Honestly. When was the last time you fell for a woman? Hmm? And, and just went out and had fun? Not that long ago, Frank. Not as long as you might think. Homo sapiens were already walking erect for years. Okay, you know, fine. Go ahead and make jokes and all that. But I know for a fact that you have a very special place in your heart for Mom and for Jenna, don't you? I always will. Okay, then you know what? Hey, then why don't you just make a little space in there for someone new? Maybe four as a crowd. Well, you know what? So that's it, right? You, you, because you've had, you know, a couple great loves of your life and all that, you think that's that's it, right? I don't want to have this conversation, what Frank. What are you talking about? Hold on one second. I don't think it's over for me. I think there's someone out there for me, just like I think there's someone out there for you. Guaranteed. Now, listen, whether it's Olivia or not, I'm going through with this, buddy. Okay. Okay, Frank. Look, I'm sorry for butting in. 
I had no right to come in between you, Olivia. None at all. Okay. That's fine. Uh, one second. Oh, great. I gotta call headquarters. Just do me a favor. Just stay put. Don't go anywhere. Stay right. The wine okay? Fine. I'm sorry I was harsh with you earlier. I, you know... No, it... Don't apologize. I was pretty testy myself. I... I, I'm, I'm only get worked up like that over people that are important to me. Yeah. So, just call it a rough day and leave it at that? I will if you will. Okay. Deal. Can, can I um, just say one more thing? Mm -hmm. Sure. You and I have something that's so special. And what happened at the end that night was important to me. Right. For what it was. Right, right. And I... You're important to me. Right. You are. Okay. At the risk... I don't want to risk losing our friendship. So, you know what? I, if, it, if it makes you uncomfortable for me to see Frank, then I'll just... I'll, I'll end it before it goes any further. No. Don't do that. You obviously don't think Frank and I are a good match. I've been wrong about so many things in my life. Frank's a good kid, so be good to him. I mean, I know he's not a kid. He's all grown up, but, you know. I know. You're right. He, he is a good kid. Anyone can see that. Even me. Glad to hear it. I don't know. It must be something in those Cooper jeans. You know, you keep turning out really good, sweet, decent men. Of course we have. <sighs> I have something 